At Galaxy Home Recreation, we want to make your hot tub maintenance as simple as possible so that you can spend more time enjoying your investment instead of working on it. To do that, there are a few simple steps to help you out. The first one of which is going to be testing and balancing your water. Without balanced water, your water can sometimes get a green or funky kind of smell. We're trying to avoid that and you can preempt that easily simply by testing your water and making sure that your pH and your alkalinity is balanced. So I'll give you an example of how we do that. You'll have your bottle of test strips and you're going to dip it into the water for about three or four seconds. that gives a proper reading on the test strips. And then you're going to take the strip and you'll match it up with the colors on your test strip bottle. Now there are three things that are gonna be looked at in hot tubs, but with us, we're only gonna really take a look at two, which is your pH and alkalinity. You'll notice, and everyone is gonna to wanna to know about the chlorine. This will stay white at all times because we don't use chlorine in our hot tubs. We actually replace that with a mineral stick. So instead of a chlorine balance, you're gonna maintain a mineral stick in your hot tub. So that's gonna be white. But after you've adjusted that, you're gonna look at your alkalinity. Your alkalinity needs to be adjusted first. You're gonna take your test strip and you're gonna match the color on your test strip with the color on the bottle. Now keep in mind, this is a general test. It's not gonna be exact and the color probably won't completely match up. So when you're gauging the color, you just want it to be as close as possible, a general range. If your alkalinity is a little bit high, you're gonna need to put in some alkalinity down in your hot, in your hot tub. If your alkalinity is low, you're gonna to wanna to bring it up but rarely will you have to worry about alkalinity. More often than not, it's the pH you're gonna to have to look at. pH tends to vary frequently, and in Oklahoma, we often have very high pH. So when you test your water, if your pH is in the high range or in the low range, you're gonna to want to adjust it. In the same way, you're gonna take a pH down or a pH up, and you're going to add about two tablespoons to your hot tub with the jets running, and then test it again about an hour later. And every hour, you can add about two tablespoons of pH up or pH down until the test strips read the range that you want them to read. So keep in mind, as a recap, the chlorine level is gonna stay white as we're not maintaining a chlorine balance. The pH and alkalinity are really what you're going to concern yourself with. And with those, you're going to either bring your pH and alkalinity up or you're gonna bring it down, or your water's gonna be fine, and you'll just leave it as it is. Every time that you fill up your hot tub, you'll wanna go through this. You'll wanna test it, and then adjust as necessary.